Well, booster rockets falling back to Earth after the launch of a new space capsule or satellite. In American or European launches, they usually fall into the sea. But Russian ones come down on land, and they're being put to novel uses by people living along the flight path. But the boosters and their rocket fuel could, even as the International Red Cross are now beginning to suspect, be responsible for some serious damage to health. ITN's Adrian Britton has tonight's special report from northern Russia. A Russian rocket blasts off, lighting up the night sky of Kazakhstan. It is propelled into space by 800 tons of highly specialized fuel. Within two minutes, the fuel boosters, seen as white dots around the main rocket, separate and fall back down to Earth. Lorry driver Pyotr Lechenko will never forget the night of a rocket launch in northern Russia. Above the dense forests of the Komi Republic, he heard a loud shuddering noise. Cut into the trees, he found the wreckage of one of the vast rocket boosters. Fuel, he says, leaking from its ruptured tanks. I looked up and saw this thing flying over my head. I started running for my life when this thing dropped with a crash. My hands started shaking. I put a scarf over my head because of the strong smell of fuel. In the Soviet era, the boosters were swiftly recovered by the military. Today, they are left in the forest as huge chunks of litter. To the alarm of environmentalists, like Dr. Vladimir Lupandin, he advises the Russian parliament on environmental and public health issues, and after years of study has concluded that rocket fuel toxins are linked to an unexplained increase in fatal illnesses among the population of Komi. Leukemia is the most common type of cancer there, and in those areas is very aggressive. Patients die very quickly, within three to four months of diagnosis. The liver, blood and central nervous systems are also affected. The only explanation for this is the effects of rocket fuel. Yet his warnings go unheeded. The crash boosters provide a fascination for the people of Komi. This is their rocket scrapyard, where space technology is refashioned for more earthly purposes. Cut a door into a rocket cone and it makes a garden shed. Or the metal skin of a booster for an outside public toilet. This is Siktivkar, the capital of the Komi Republic, about a thousand miles north of Moscow. And it's here where doctors have been unable to explain an unusually high number of cases of children with skin diseases and neural disorders. No scientific proof, but at the city's children's hospital, medical staff are slowly forming their own conclusions. The hospital's psychoneurologist showed me two-year-old Varia, born deaf and blind. And she told me how, over ten years, she has seen the number of children born with genetic disorders increase from 2 to 13 percent. She is particularly disturbed that increasingly the parents are young and healthy. Although it is possible that defects can be caused by other factors, we tend to think that it's more likely to be the environmental effect. It is in isolated communities like Izma, where traditional lifestyles are most vulnerable to a harmful environment. Poverty forces people to live off the land. Malnourished, they have less resistance to poisons and toxins. The authorities say they're researching into the effects of rocket fuel, but the people of Komi can expect even more rocket launches, with Russia now enjoying the profits of the commercial satellite market. Adrian Britton, News at 10, Komi, Northern Russia. The F